welcome back to another video i forgot i had this video sitting in my phone <laughs> so i thought i'd get it edited right i'm using ugly duckling gel polishes today i have got number 139 i think that's is that zero yeah oh zero oh nine six and zero four four so the colors are on the top i love it when bottles have colors swatched on the top it makes my day makes me very happy so i'm using the born pretty ombre brush i don't know why this is just my go-to ombre brush it's like one of the cheapest ombre brushes you could ever buy but it's just what i'm used to if you watched my live the other day i'd done this technique actually i'd done this video before i'd done that live so this is like yeah and um, but i like to put little blobs on the nail and little blobs of the three colors that i want now when i do this i will only put one coat on i'm not going to do this twice so i want to make sure there's enough to cover the nail but i don't want there to be too much that it might create like wrinkling because you don't want that so when you put all your blobs on you literally just brush over with your ombre brush and it creates like streaks i think i've I done it a little bit too much on this nail i don't like it if you do it too much can you see it started to mush into one color i'm gonna do it again on this nail it's um the the ones the vid the ones that i've done in my life reminded me of like wood grain only like colored wood not that there is really such thing but you could it could be stained wood i suppose i don't know what you want to call it but it looks i just think it's really nice and i like it i kind of like that the wood look i think is quite nice for like autumn me nails do you know you know you know is it just me i don't know <laughs> so i'm gonna do it again on this one and any areas that i want to cover i'm just kind of doing it kind of gently and i actually prefer this one to the first one can you see it just i don't know it's just fun it's just a bit of fun I, I first saw it on madame glam's instagram page actually it was it was them that yeah <laughs> it's not my design right this is copper leaf this was from nail sugar but they don't have it anymore on the website so i mean but i mean gold leaf is widely widely available sort of like all over the place i've put a patch of gold leaf on and then i'm using my silicon tool just to kind of break it up a little bit I didn't want it to look just like one kind of patch of gold leaf. I wanted it to to look a little bit. I'm going to speed it up because I'm going to do a couple of patches, extra couple more patches. Can you see it just sort of breaks it up? But because it's super fine and your gel polish has got a nice tacky layer, it just kind of sticks nicely. I had too much there. I didn't want didn't want as much as that. I do, I have to apologise, I do go out of shot quite a few times on this video. It's because I moved my, I've actually moved my, I have this arm thing that I put my phone in to record. I've actually moved it back to my right side. It was on my left side, but I, yeah, I've moved it back to my right side. Um, I, so I've done the same thing on that second nail. And then what I'm going to do, oh, this glitter is from Nail Sugar it's called espresso it's look it's amazing oh, i love it so much you can get 10 percent off nail sugar glitters and stuff using my code natmug10 fyi uh, if you want some nice autumny glitters go and check nail sugar out i'm putting some base coat over the top of the nails and into this base coat i'm just i'm using my ombre brush again to pick up some of that i'm just i've just sort of brushed it through the the base coat and then I'm kind of dipping it into the glitter, the raw glitter. And then what I'm doing is I'm making like a glitter trail through the gold leaf and then up to the other bit of gold leaf so that it kind of makes a trail of golden glitter. <laughs> I think it looks, I love it. I love it so much. And if you want a fine glitter, I'm doing the same on the other nail. If you want a glitter very similar to this colour, but you don't like it with chunky bits in, you like it fine, then Nail Sugar have a glitter called Blackberry. And I really, do, I'm desperate to use it in a set of nails, actually. So you can see me use that soon. I must use it. 
I'm sorry if you can hear noises in the background. It's the people outside doing maintenance and stuff on the bushes. It's the bush cutter man. <laughs> I could do with that. <laughs> Just kidding. Right, so I'm going to do the same on here. So I'm putting the glitter on so that it makes a glitter trail through the gold leaf. It's kind of like a swoosh, but not, you know? Just, you know, oh, it looks lovely. I love it so much. Okay, so that's what we're looking at so far. I'll come back to that in a minute. On the other two nails, I'm going to use 139 and 096. So this is the nude and the purple that we've used in that previous the previous nail design. I'm literally going to do a full coat of colour on these nails. This is look, that's one coat. The coverage is really good. And this one's got a bit of a pearly sheen to it as well. And this one, oh, 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 oh this purple. Mmm, I love it. Oh, it's just so yummy. It would actually be really nice for a Halloween, Halloween nails as well, if you wanted a kind of nice purple. So they're going to go in the lamp. Um, Ugly Duckling Gel Polishes Cure in an LED lamp for 30 seconds. And by the way, I should let you know, the if you're in the UK, um, I get my Ugly Duckling gel polishes from www.courtyourlooking.co.uk. Um, I'll leave the website down below and I'll leave, um, if I remember, I'll leave a link to the Facebook group. But there is a Facebook group called Court You Looking as well, where you could show off all your designs using your Ugly Duckling gel polish. Okay, so we're going to go over with No Wipe Top Coat on the glittery nails. You can do base coat and then top coat. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to do top coat. And then what I like to do is, if the nail is a little bit rough, or if there's like a little bit of pokey glitter, pokey glitter, like, you know, like poking out a little bit, then I like to buff over the surface. Sometimes I just do it anyway, just to smooth the nail out. So here, like I was just checking... Oh yeah, it's it I like it smooth. You know when the light the line light hits the nail, I have to I'm a little bit obsessed with that. I like mine to be completely straight. I don't like there to be any dips or bumps or lumps. And if there is, it bothers me a lot. So I just went over anyway with my buffer. When you do that, make sure that you don't buff too much. So you don't you don't want to buff like through the glitter. You you know, just literally, yeah, so be careful. Oh, be quiet, noisy people. And then I'm going over with the top coat again, obviously, to finish off the nails. That will go in for 30 seconds. But I'm going to pause the video for a minute until he's quiet. Hang on. Okay, I think he's moved away. Right. These are Nail Sugar's new premium nail art decals. Oh, my goodness. They're so cute. I am going to use the the reindeers or the stags or whatever they are um can you see why i wanted to save this for november right i've cut out the decal that i want this is one of the trees i've placed it on my stamper and then i'm just gonna moisten <laughs> moisten <laughs> the back with some water not too much just a little bit just enough to saturate the decal and then you just need to leave it like you would you know, if you're putting it in a little pot of water, you don't have to do that anymore because you can use the stamping hack that I learned a few weeks ago. Oh my God, it's incredible. Why have I never... I just can't get over it. It's brilliant. Okay, so... Look, you just it just slides off after... This was in... I've done this in real time as well, so you can see how long it takes. I mean, it takes seconds. Right, and then I've got my tree on there ready to stamp onto my nail. And it's... Yeah... It's amazing. So this is literally going to go onto the tacky layer of gel polish. And because my stamper is see-through, I can look down the barrel of the stamper and work out exactly where I want the tree. So I wanted it roughly in the middle. See, so stamp it on. Ta-da! Oh, that took me so long to draw, not. <laughs> so now we've got our tree. And then I'm going to do the same with two of the reindeers or the stags. So I've moistened it. I'm sliding it off. <laughs> and then I will place that. See? 
place that or is it deer it might not even be a reindeer it could just be a deer or a, is it, no it's a stag because it's got hasn't it got horns has it got antlers uh, do you, uh i don't know there we go Boop. and then i want one more on there but i was worried that i it would overlap and if it overlapped it wouldn't stick because the tacky layer would have been gone so i'm just going to go over with a thin layer of base coat the leaf blower man's coming back i don't know if he's the leaf blower or if he's the bush cutter they're both really noisy whichever one it is okay so go over with our base coat and then we're gonna we will start basically we'll start again now with a with a nice tacky nail so i've got my second deer on there i don't know what this set of decals is called these are from now sugar as well you can get these 10 percent off using that mug 10 the code yeah bargain everyone likes a cheeky discount don't they oh he's coming back i can hear him he's getting noisier there we go so i'm just going to place that one on where i want it like this there we go so we've got our little reindeers on there now or our deers or our stags or whatever they are okay so i decided initially to matte top coat this so you see me now going over with the matte top coat i do however yeah he's coming back he's walking this way i do however change my mind and i do shiny top coat it somewhere towards the end of the video which i don't show but you'll notice um, I'm going to matte top coat the purple one as well because this one I want to put some crystals on. I just feel like this set is screaming it needs crystals, so crystals it is. <laughs> I don't need much persuading when it comes to adding crystals. There we go. So again, they get a 30 second cure in the lamp. They do have a tacky layer when they come out, so just use a little bit of gel cleanse. Whoops, what have I done? A little bit of gel cleanse or isopropyl alcohol just to wipe off that tacky layer and then that will reveal the the matte nail underneath see i'm out of shot again look Ugh. there we go Ta -da! right now where am i now yeah now we're gonna do the crystals eventually <laughs> right i'm using preciosa crystals from the crystal parade um this color is called amethyst this is a really nice autumn color and then i've got light amethyst i felt like these went perfectly with this set and then i've got another lot of crystals called sunrise so these have got like oh these are really pretty i've not had these long and you can get 5% off any Crystal Parade crystals using my code NAT5. So I decided I was going to use some caviar beads as well. I always like to add caviar beads. I'm using rose gold ones. I'm just going to tip a few out onto my kitchen roll. And I am using my Crystal Pro from Scarlet Center. So I am going to apply the gem glue where i want the crystals first of all if you are not very confident with crystal placement you can do it section by section when i'm doing big swooshes like this i prefer to put all of the glue on so that i know exactly where it's going to go otherwise i feel like if i do it section by section i'm just worried that i'm not gonna it's gonna i don't know i just like yeah i just prefer to do it this way i'm just gonna grab my ipad which is in the other room so you might hear funny noises here it is okay so once my gem glue is on i'm gonna start placing my crystals into that gem glue and i do um so this is like this is like a swoosh but it's like a a backwards swoosh so normally I'd have the bulk of the crystals in the middle of the nail. Um, but this time I've got the bulk of the... Did I say the bulk of the nails? The bulk of the crystal. I can't remember what I said. Um, the bulk of the crystals would normally be in the middle. And um, this time they are on the edge, like on the outside edges of the nail. And as you get to the middle, it kind of, it gets thinner. I quite like, I quite like that. Oh no, Matt's got a parcel coming today and i'm going out 
Um, can you have it sent to Jules? Because I'm going out. <laughs> I'm going to see my mum. Um, yes. And then i have just. I decided here it needed a. It needed a bit more bulking out here. So I've just put a bit more gem glue, and I'm going to add a few more crystals. And then obviously in between all of those crystals, we need some, what are they, caviar beads. I have to move them out of the way because I make, I, I knock things over and it, I mean, it happens to all of us. You find me a nail tech that hasn't knocked over a pot of glitter or a pot of acrylic or a pot of crystals and I will give you 50 million pounds. That's not true, that's a lie, I wouldn't, but it would be very rare, very rare to find a nail tech that hadn't knocked a pot of something over. <laughs> unless you're very new, unless you're a very new nail tech. But then you might have even done that. You know, you might, yeah, I'll shut up now. So look, I'm just putting the little caviar beads between the crystals and if there is any gem glue that so i will put the i normally put the caviar beads into any like overflow gem glue but look i'm using a um a little detailer brush now to place extra gem glue in their places where there is an overflow gem glue i hope that makes sense if you've got a bit of gem glue that's squidged out um and you cure it but you want to put some caviar beads between the crystals, it's going to look a little bit silly because where you've cured the gem glue and then you've got to add more, the, the caviar bead isn't going to fit snugly up towards the crystals, which is why I like to put them into any overflow. I think that makes sense. Right, after I've waffled on so much, we finally finished. <laughs> So that's going to go into my... The, I've used the Crystal Totalist Gem Glue, which cures for 60 seconds. So that's going to go in the lamp. And then, let's see this now shiny now. <laughs> um, I'm using 044, which is the white. I've just decided to finish off this now. I'm going to use a tiny little bit of white glitter. No, it's not. It's white gel polish. <laughs> Two tiny, tiny little dollops. Like that. And then you're going to take a very fine detailer brush. This is the Nail Sugar Natalie Muggridge detailer brush. Available on the Nail Sugar's website. You get 10% off using code NATMUG10. I keep saying it. And you just start from the middle and wipe the product out. And you made a star. So you start from the middle, wipe the product out. If you start with no product on your brush, then you get a really nice fine line. There we go. And then I'm gonna add three little dollops in the top right hand corner that are gonna be like little stars. Dip, dop, dop. There we go. And then I like to, when I do this, right, I like to put some acrylic into that gel polish. So this is clear acrylic. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the gel polish soak up that clear acrylic. And if you put it on and tab it off, if it's still looking, if it starts to go shiny, it's because it needs a bit more acrylic on it. You want to wait until it goes completely matte, like that, and then pop it into the lamp. And then when you come to brush off the excess, you're left with a kind of textured look. And I really like it. I like it a lot. There we go. So that's all finished. I'll show you a close up. There we go. I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Links and discount codes will be in the description box below. Um, I think that's it. I obviously don't upload on a Wednesday unless I've missed a day in the week. But tomorrow I will be not uploading. So yeah, I will see you all on Thursday. Have an amazing day.